Hello everyone, it's Diane here from Do Wacky Arts and Crafts. How's everybody doing? Happy New Year! Woo! You know, happy 2023. All the best to everybody out there. I hope you're all doing fantastic so far and your year is going great. So, I know I haven't posted in quite some time. I have been playing around and mulling ideas in my head, you know. So, um, anyway, I've decided I am going to give it a go and try and make one of these or those little jeweled egg basket jewelry holder thingies. I mean, so I'll try and link a picture of it, you know, I'll try and put a picture on the screen just so I can show you what it looks like. And I thought what I'll do is I'll do it in different stages because I've got to obviously wait for certain stuff to dry. So I thought today what we're going to do is we're just going to do the paper mache part. Basically, I have one of these toy egg container holders that my brother got little sweets in and he just gave it to me and I thought well you know if I just make it a little bit more oval at the top if that makes sense like a little bit more oval at the top I can make a little egg jewelry box and we put in something there to hold whatever you need to hold you know maybe a nice little satin holding thing painted on the inside and the outside um Anyways, so I thought what I'll do is I'll do this in separate stages. I don't know if it's going to be two or three videos. Uh, so we'll just see how it goes. And I will wait for it to dry before I make the next video. So today, what you're going to need is basically just a plastic, you know, a little toy egg Older. Now, obviously, if you've got one that's already egg-shaped, that would be great because that saves you time. Um, if you don't, like I do, we are going to attempt to make this work. So I am trying this. I have not tried this yet, but I'm going to try this with you online now. So besides this little plastic egg clip, so I want one that obviously also clips because I want to have it clipped in and then, you know, so that you can, you know, seal it pretty well, you know, so it doesn't, it's not loose. Anyway, so I'll see what I can do with that little holder thing there because a key ring thing was on there, but anyway. Secondly, what you're going to need is glue. Now, basically, this is just homemade flour and water. I don't know how much flour I put in there. I don't know how much water I put in there. But basically just mix it until you get a nice thick-ish consistency. This is going to be your home glue that you make and everybody can do it. Basically, you know, I'm sure in arts and crafts and that there everybody did have something like this. So if you are funny about your hands getting dirty maybe get a pair of gloves as well because you're going to be working with this and you're going to have to shape it and that so you're going to use your hands it's going to get messy newspaper is very important we're going to cut out strips make little balls blah 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 i will do this ahead with you and then lastly plastic covering so I just basically took one of these extra big plastic bags and I basically just covered my artsy um, desk protector thing and so I know where my boundaries is and I, at least if I do mess it's only plastic you know it's easily thrown away. Now kitty cats if you are going to do this with Auntie Di, please ask your mommy or your daddy or your auntie or your granny to please use their flour. 
Don't just go and use their flower. Ask permission. We ask first. So, I just threw in basically three quarters of a cup here, and I think about that much water. I don't even know. That's probably about two centimeters of water into this. And all I did was basically just seal it shut and mix. And I just basically mixed. So actually, it's a little bit runny, but it'll work. It'll work. Don't worry. It'll work. So we've got our little gluey paper ready. So basically, we're just going to take whatever newspaper and we're going to basically just cut strips and pieces and that. And I'm not measuring. I mean, this is all just basically going to go onto there anyway. So basically, you're just going to tear up so that you've got enough paper and stuff to use so that you can reach for it at the time and you don't have to still tear when you need to. So, I hope everybody's been doing well. I hope the school holidays went all well. Is everybody back at work? I mean, we started like two weeks ago and that, and it's like everybody just officially started today. And I'm like, really? Really? I'm like, okay. So, I don't know how to start. So, I think what I'm going to do is because I want that egg head shape, I'm going to basically just take a piece of newspaper. I'm just going to frummel it up, basically just dunk it in the glue and basically just, you know, like that and just stick it on. I don't care about the glue heading everywhere. It's not a problem. I mean, I'm covered with my plastic bag. Same thing with the next one. Just as you can see, I am squeezing a bit of the glue out so that it's not so, but it still contains. And look there, it's really like sort of sticking. So at this point in time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this ball because, or well, for purposes sake, let's just say, I'm going to seal the egg so that we can first just get the shape on proper, you know. I think one more should do the trick, don't you think? I think so. Oh, and if you need a cloth as well, just for in case, you never know. So, we are just making a little up here so you see so it's like sort of egg shaped that actually should suffice so now what we're going to do is you're going to take your sliver of paper I'm going to cut it in half like that and now we're going to just put it over so Paper mache, this is what we call paper mache, people. And paper mache is a fun thing to do with the kids. It's messy. Believe me, mommies and daddies, it's messy. But, you know, usually it's like so much fun, and all the kids usually generally love getting their hands dirty. And so. Yes, so I'm thinking maybe actually I'm just going to do this whole ball and then just try and find the middle and then just cut it with a crafting knife open and hopefully that works. So let's try that. Well, I mean, if it fails, it fails. So we are just going to do this and basically just... Um, you see, it's already sort of looking egg-shaped, sort of. Okay, maybe actually I should have made it a bit more up here, there. It's, it's not looking bad. 
So the inspiration for this. So we've just recently obviously had Christmas and that. And as a family, what we've decided to do every year is we have a themed Christmas. So we actually wrote down a whole bunch of ideas last year. So last year we, no, not last year, 2021. 2021, we decided that we wanted to have a themed Christmas and our theme was Lord of the Rings. Weird, but it worked. It worked, people. So we actually went all out with the Lord of the Rings, you know, had proper food, decor. I mean, we went crazy with that Lord of the Rings thing. And then we thought, but hang on, why don't we do this every year? Just make a random theme. And we just, you know, like stick with this theme. So everybody, now this is now 2021. Everybody then was given a piece of paper, small little piece of paper. And told basically just write down a theme of your choice any theme you don't even it doesn't even have to be one theme you could write down two or three themes so you got uh, a hogwarts christmas you got a white christmas you got a star wars christmas gosh i don't know how we're gonna do that but okay star wars anyway uh we had the nutcracker and the four realms which ended up being this year's Christmas thing. Well, 2022's Christmas thing. Because we pulled that out of the box. Well, out of the Christmas bucket. So we had a bucket and we threw all the little names. And then we had one person in the family pick out a name. And that was our theme for 2022. And so with this theme... Now being the Nutcracker, we were looking at everything Nutcracker-wise. Now, of course, it's all Russian, and so we had Russian food. We had Nutcracker-themed um, decor, you know, different seasons and everything. And while I was researching different decor and that there came across these eggs, you know, these jeweled eggs. And with these jeweled eggs and that there I thought well you know when Matthew my brother actually passed me on this little sweet thing he's like I don't know I can't use it maybe you can use it because firstly it's purple so it's very girly and secondly and that the, he was like nah, he just wanted the sweets so it's like okay so it's like, but maybe you can use it for something. And obviously the first thing that popped into my head was these little Russian eggs that you get, you know, these jeweled Russian eggs. And I'm like, yes, I can do that. I can do that. I can make that work. You know? So, hence we are here today, people. We are here today. Yes. So. I think actually I'm overdoing it now. Probably I'm overdoing it now. So what my plan is to do is basically just take this little egg. So I don't have more than one. So hence I am using this one. And if it flops, we will learn from it. Because nothing is ever... You know, you always learn from your mistakes and next time you do better. So if this does end up flopping people, we'll just put that down to experience and we'll take it from there. So it doesn't look quite pleasant right now. It's very sticky and gooey and that. And so we are just going to leave it like that. I don't know if I must like completely coat it in there. Like that, and basically just coat it like that. 
So, I don't know how I'm going to find her. I know, yes, the thing, so the line must be somewhere here. So, but we'll sort that out once this is dried. And so, what I basically want to do is basically, firstly, get that little head formed, hence, we are doing the paper mache. And once this is dried, I want to just cut a line through so that we can open it and close it, but then have it still sticking, if that makes sense, you know. But then it's nice and egg-shaped, and then once we've done, once I've cut it open and that there, then we're going to just take some paint, and we're basically going to paint the whole thing on the outside, I would like to paint the inside as well and I was thinking I've got some gold paint here so I'm going to paint the inside gold and the outside I don't know if I want to make it a solid color and then just use like gold and silver and whatever else around you know to dec de de decorate it around um, and then basically just make different you know little patterns on there. So I'm still contemplating on that. Might actually make it like a nice blue with the gold inside. And then just put a nice little satin type thing on the inside. And um, so, yes. So I think we're going to leave it for here now. And... Yeah, so this is like pretty egg-shaped. I think that looks egg-shaped, don't you think? I think so. And then, once this is dried, I will make my next video. And we will continue the process. And then, obviously, after the painting, the painting has to dry first. And then we'll do... So, I might paint the inside and let that dry the inside and the outside one solid color each let that dry and then in the third video put in the little like a nice little satin cushion thing that you can put you know like something in and then just make it look all pretty and then just decorate around the egg with different colored paints and we shall take it from there and that will be the third video is basically decorating our little egg so if you guys are going to try this please i don't know if you want to wait until the third video maybe and just see how it goes and how it looks but cross fingers folks i'm hoping this does work and this doesn't floppy in my face because then i'm not going to be a very happy kitty cat and we'll, I will see you soon, guys. Um, I love you guys. Um, I do read all your comments and that. Um, I absolutely love it when you comment and you give me suggestions. So please um, do leave me a message on my um, videos. I do read through them all. And... Um, Yes, let me know what you guys think, how you guys think you're going, this is going to turn out, I hope it turns out nice. Um, I'm wondering actually if we shouldn't make like a little ring and some little legs so that it can stand on something. Um, you know what, I think we'll do that with the next video. Then we paint because the painting is also going to be pretty quick paint and then let me see around you what we can use for like little leg standings and something to hold the egg in you know so have like a little stand and then put the egg in there and then it stands perched um yes like i said I do read all your comments. Please leave me comments. Please like the video. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try my best. It's 2023. I'm definitely going to try my best to post a lot more videos. Um, well, definitely I've got to post now. 
you know, once this is dried. I think I'm going to leave this for about two, three days, maybe over the weekend, um, just to be on the safe side over the weekend then film my next video and then we'll see maybe mid next week then we film the third video and we put it out um otherwise give me a like hit the subscribe button and i really love and appreciate you all have a lovely week further look after yourself take care of yourself stay healthy and until we meet again Bye.